everybody it's Teresa welcome to my channel I got the Jesse James magical mystery bead box in the mail today it came quite a bit earlier than I expected so I'm gonna get everything sorted out and I'll be back okay it looks like the theme this time is stories from the sea it's got a pretty picture of the ocean there and on the back it's got everything that's inside here and it's got a little story. It says, The Sailor's Legend of Mermaid Tears. One stormy night, a boat with all of its crew was about to be lost at sea. A mermaid, who was in love with one of the sailors, used her powers to calm the wind and waves. Neptune imprisoned her forever to the depths of the ocean for doing so. Her tears for her lost love traveled to shore in the form of iridescent pearls and sea glass. <laughs> That's so cute. It says, show us what you create, tag your mystery box and creations on social using hashtag Jesse James Beads and hashtag Magical Mystery Bead Box. That's a really cute little story. So it looks like the first thing is a glass beach bead strand. These are really pretty. Let me zoom in a little bit here. A little, little cream colored pearl there at the end. And then there's a flat round bead there with little little speckled pattern on it there a couple of little daisy spacers a pretty teardrop bead another spacer there's sort of a cylindrical shaped bead a bigger spacer rhinestone spacer a couple of big pretty bead caps around this really pretty uh, round bead here. It's got kind of the same speckles as that little one there in it. I really like that pattern in there. And another round, big rhinestone spacer and another cylindrical bead and a couple more spacers, a tiny rhinestone spacer and a flat rhinestone or a flat spacer and then a rectangular bead faceted it's really pretty and then it repeats that's a really pretty strand of beads and then the next strand is tile trite line triple thunder polish brand or <laughs> trite line triple thunder polish strand I really like these. These are small beads like I like to work with in bead weaving. They look like they're about two by three millimeter. There's a pink strand and a gray strand. And I guess that's black or a really, really dark gray. Those are really pretty, really add some sparkle to whatever you're doing. And then the next thing is the beach Comer bead mix. So I'm going to separate all this out and I'll be back. Okay, so here's everything that was in the beach comer mix. Uh, we've got some uh, bead caps here. There's four bead caps, large gold bead caps. To focus, okay. Really pretty, large, four, four large bead caps. And then there's some spacers here. There's six of them. And they're, I think that's kind of like a flat, sort of a squished bicone shape. Those are really pretty. And then there's some disc shaped, flat disc shaped beads here white with a hole at the top. I guess those would be good for dangles or earrings or something. There's I think there's eight of them in there. I'm just almost certain there's eight. I don't see one, but I believe I had eight at one point. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Well, I only see seven, but I know there was eight there. There must have misplaced one somewhere. And then there's two of these little charms and they're the same on both sides 
It would be good for earrings or to dangle off a bracelet or whatever you want to do with them. And then these are, I guess this is sort of a topaz color. There's two of these, pretty crystals, faceted. And then there's two of these top drilled briolette beads. Really pretty facets on them. And then there's four of these, what I believe to be six by eight millimeter rondelles. And then there's eight of these matte colored round beads. Same colors, just matte, kind of frosted. And then there's some clear beads here. There's two of these large I don't really know what shape this is. It's a different shape on this side than it really, really than it is. It's flat on this side and it's not really, it's just a different unique shape. Clear, really pretty, lots of facets. There's two of those. And then there's four of these larger, what I believe to be six by eight millimeter rondelles. pretty clear with all the facets and then there's eight of these smaller just like, like those other beads but these are the clear but they're matte and kind of frosted looking those are really really pretty and then in here there's four of these what I believe to be six by eight millimeter rondelles in a sort of a beige color. Pretty with lots of facets. And then there's a little bronze, tiny little bronze magnetic clasp. It's a, it's a real good magnet, real strong. Little rhinestone bronze clasp. That's all really pretty. And it looks like next is the Castaway Treasures bead mix. So I'll get that all sorted out and I'll be back. Okay, this one, we've got four rhinestone spacers. Gold rhinestone spacers. There's two of these really cool beads. oval. Let's see if I can get them both on here. Really pretty pattern in them. Kind of like waves. Probably something that looks a lot like something you would find on the beach. Not that I've ever been to the beach. Well, I once when I was a little, little girl, we went to the Florida, I think, and we, we went to the beach, but I don't remember much about it, and I've not been much as, as an, I've not been at all <laughs> since then. I rarely ever get out of Kentucky. <laughs> I, I'm not one for traveling. My husband loves to travel, but I, I'm not one for traveling. I just sort of am a homebody, I guess, but these are really, really pretty, and then there's these, there's this large shell. Uh, it's like a, it's got a little jump ring at the top of it, so it would be something you could hang. Probably use as a pendant. It would be really pretty. It's got some really pretty detail in it. And then there's two shell beads, but they're not the same. One is blue and one is green.
those are very very pretty and then there's these I imagine these are supposed to be mermaid tails and there's four different sizes of them those are really really pretty very unique so the next thing is at the docks cord set so I'll get this out and I'll be back okay this has got four little fold over cord ends here in gold so I don't have to worry about gluing them like I did that last one <laughs> Although it worked out, I probably would put a little glue in here anyway just to be safe. And then there's this really pretty cord. Uh, I measured it. It's about 24 inches. I'd have to make us a necklace and put it on that. Maybe a, some sort of a bead woven necklace and put it on that like I did that other cord. And then this cord is thinner but it is there's 49 inches of it and I would imagine since it's thinner it's probably meant to be put both of those in there double it up and put both of those in there and and do the cord in I would imagine it's the way I'll use it probably cut it in half and I have a double cord with doing something with it that's really pretty it's like a a cream color this was a more of a a brown light brown color I guess and the next thing is the sea glass bead set looks like we're gonna get to see some sea glass beads in here so hold on I'll separate this out okay this is our sea glass set we've got some of these square blue there's six of these really pretty blue and then there's four of these I don't know what this shape is it's a just an oddly shaped I guess like something you'd find on the shores of the sea or the beach same that same blue color really pretty and then there's four of these cylindrical like beads that like we're in that strand we looked at there they've got sort of a green color in the center of them there in the inside and then there's these green round beads there's eight of these really pretty and then there's I think I counted 13 of these little top drilled briolette like white beads those are really pretty and then next is the message in a bottle mini bead mix <laughs> that's cute hold on I'll get it sorted out and I'll be back okay so here's our message in a bottle mix there's some little spacers here little flat spacers there and then there's some little uh, bead caps here they're really pretty gold and then there's some little champagne colored back cones here These look to be, I don't know if they're four millimeter or not. They might be three millimeter. They're pretty, pretty small. 
And then there is these long, I guess these are drop beads. It's pretty blue and there might be some hints of green in there. Collar. Pretty facets. And then there's some square. beads there one side is just got the silver finish on it there and it looks like all the other sides you can see through and you can get there's like hints of I can see flashes of purple and maybe some pink in there those are really pretty and then there's some of these blue, I guess those would be rondelles, maybe, maybe four by six millimeter, pretty blue color. And then last is some chain reaction. And this is like some chain reaction I got when I got that five pack of uh, gold and five pack of silver. Uh, this is just exactly like that that I got. Uh, and I like the chain reaction. You can take it apart and put it together in different ways if you want to, which is what I did with that. Well, I haven't put it together in different ways. I cut it up, but I haven't put it together yet in any kind of different way. I've still got quite a bit of it left. Uh, this is about 18 inches. I had didn't measure this particular one, but I know from my other one it's 18 inches of chain. I always like their chain reaction. So hold on and I'll see if I can put all this together in one picture and I'll be back. Okay, there it is. The April 2023 Stories from the Sea Jesse James Magical Mystery Bead Box. Uh, like I've said before, I find it a little bit challenging to work with these beads just because they're not what I'm used to. I had a lady that watches my videos comment and I agree with her it is helpful to use these as just sort of specialty beads and and pull a lot of beads from my stash to go with them and use these as just sort of specialty standout beads a lot of them as focal beads I think this is probably my favorite box that I've got so far though I really like this it's really pretty I hope you all have enjoyed this video as always Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked and commented on my videos. I have a website where I sell my jewelry. It's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested, along with a link to my Facebook and Instagram and my email. If you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Mm -hmm.